Traction is a constant theme in trials, and the evil ones who plan your sections love to put you in sand, rocks, mud, and steep climbs, so they can laugh at you wheel spinning your way to a five. So before we look at advanced techniques, let's cover the basics again. Momentum is your friend. Get the most speed you can before you tackle obstacles and steep inclines. Keep your weight to the rear on inclines to get a bigger footprint from the rear tire. But also squat to keep your center of gravity low and prevent flipping the bike. Keeping your legs bent not only lowers your center of gravity, but your legs act as extra suspension to soak up bumps and provide more traction for the rear wheel. Choosing a higher gear, slipping the clutch and maintaining revs will often maximize traction on steep climbs. Hopping for extra traction. When we weight the trials bike by jumping on the foot pegs, the tyres flatten out even more to provide a larger footprint and extra traction. If you have lost rear wheel traction or are about to, you can hop the bike by weighting it and applying throttle when the tyres have maximum footprint on the ground then backing off the throttle while in the air. Experienced riders often hop all the way up a slippery climb using this technique. You can see how this experienced rider gets up a very slippery climb and even uses his body weight to negotiate corners as he hops the bike up. Zaps for extra traction. At lower speeds or even a standstill, you can use hopping with zaps, that is using the clutch to jump the bike in the air and keep the front wheel very light or even in the air to maximise weight on the rear wheel. You will need to have excellent balance, clutch and throttle skills for this as it's very easy to lose your balance when hopping for traction at a standstill on a steep slope. If there are obstacles on an uphill climb, See if there are kickers you can use to jump the obstacle and maintain your momentum and traction. <laughs> <laughs> 